Hey, what's up guys? This is Richard with Salt Strong. Today I want to go over a quick tackle tip that's going to help you on making sure your popping cork system is not getting tangled up in your main line. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so one of the things that I see that's pretty common uh, when people are using a popping cork is having their main line getting all tangled up into their actual popping cork and that whole system. So today I'm gonna go over exactly how to fix that and what I do to prevent that from happening and have some pretty good success. When it comes to the system itself, it's a very, very simple. So I continue to use, you know, just a regular braid to mono knot um, this is the FG knot. You can use whichever one that you would like. Um, and then I've got a fairly short butt section of monofilament. So it's important to have something that's going to be pretty stiff. Like I said, it doesn't need to be very long. Um, and what I ended up using is 40 pound clear anti monofilament. And as you can see, this is much, much more stiff compared to braid that can get wrapped up and spool up even on the water. So this is what is really preventing that braid from coming back and getting wrapped around your actual popping cork. And as you can see, the braids almost got to double itself over before it can even get to the popping cork. So this is the main thing that's going to prevent that. Additionally, you want to make sure you've got some type of snug knot here. Don't use a loop knot. There's no real reason to. And you're trying to actually limit the amount of movement that this has. Now, I know that there's a swivel on here and you could take that off and tie directly to it. However, I do like keeping the swivel because when you're throwing this popping cork all day, making pops and reeling it back in, this system is going to twist your line a little bit. So I do like keeping that on there. Just make sure you use some type of snug knot, fisherman's knot, something that's going to give you a little bit of resistance right here and keep that line pointed out. So that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this tip helpful. And if you have any modifications or anything you like to do to help increase success when using popping corks, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this by our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.